Gallup came out recently with the poll. It showed that 65% of the country, 65% of Americans, were either extremely or very proud to be American. And a further 20% were uh, somewhat proud to be American. So that's 85% of the country really feeling uh, patriotic. Mm -hmm. Only 4% of the country have, uh, are not proud at all. Uh, but the, the, the numbers of very and extremely proud have come down from previous years. Welcome to The Debrief, where we talk to the Washington Examiner's top journalists about the headlines they're covering this week and where the story's going next. I'm Jim Antle. I'm joined today by Editor-in-Chief Hugo Gurdon. Hugo, we've recently celebrated the 4th of July. For most people in America, the celebrate is the operative word. But there are some who tend to use this day as an occasion to talk about the nation's sins. And talk a little bit about how we have some people who serve in elected office in this country right. who use this as an opportunity to sort of run America down. Yeah, it, one of the things that almost everybody who is celebrating the 4th of July will have noticed is that it's party time. Uh, people celebrate in their different ways. They're, they're happy and they're free to celebrate in their different ways. But you have uh, members of Congress like uh, Congressman Jamal Bowman of New York who is saying that until there is total freedom for everybody, uh, there will not be really freedom, for, it will not really be a free country. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he talks about the land being stolen, about and being toiled over by uh, um, black African slaves. Mm -hmm. And it, it was a cause for him to denigrate the country and to suggest this sort of left-wing, repeat this sort of left-wing fashion, really rather regretting that America exists and regretting that it was founded and, and, and believing that it's, it, it still has enormous sins to, to, to pay for. Uh, uh, Congresswoman uh, Cori Bush uh, wrote that, uh, that, the, that the government owed black uh, African Americans uh, reparations, that it had a legal duty, which I think is probably going to turn out to be wrong, uh, but I don't believe that it even has a moral duty. But it's very interesting that uh, the fashion on the left is to regard the, the, the United States as uh, founded on a false bases, false ideals, hypocrisy, slavery, etc. And for the Democrats to use Independence Day uh, to run down the country when everybody else, as they could see from you know, their neighbors and their friends all around them, were feeling free and celebratory. So there's a sense in which the woke progressive left is sort of systematically attacking national pride, especially for the United States. Right. But this seems to be a fringe position, is it not? Yeah, it, it, I think it is a fringe position, but it is doing damage. Um, Gallup came out recently with the poll. It showed that 65% of the country, 65% of Americans, were either extremely or very proud to be American. And a further 20% were... Uh, somewhat proud to be American. So that's 85% of the country really feeling uh, patriotic. Mm -hmm. Only 4% of the country have, uh, are not proud at all. Uh, but the, the, the numbers of very and extremely proud have come down from previous years. So the constant denigration of the country by the left, uh, by those who want to attack it for, particularly on racial matters, mm -hmm. uh, is doing some damage. And, uh, and, and you know, there are more people, who, and what's happening here is a kind of an assault on the culture of the country. It's producing a kind of self-doubt, which is not good for a country. Mm -hmm. And of course, if all of this is sort of institutionalized, within the education system, you could see subsequent generations of people may internalize some of these critiques. Right, well, uh, you know, um, uh, anti-racism and the teaching that uh, uh, black people and black children will never get ahead because they, are, they, are, they will always be suppressed by the white uh, majority and that just by being white uh, means that you are an oppressor. These things can be internalized. Uh, they run entirely counter to the American ethic of, you know, if you, if you try hard, uh, you can get ahead, uh, mm -hmm. which the country has proved generation after generation. And yes, if you keep on telling children this, this then they pass through the education system, they bring this negativity into the adult world and the, the, the world of work and the world of home, and it undermines uh, national morale and patriotism. It, it's, it's a very bad thing for a culture. Thank you, Hugo. Thanks, Jim. You can read Hugo and the rest of our political team's coverage at WashingtonExaminer.com.